Hi, this is Dave from javacodejunkie.com and welcome to today's video tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to take a little detour and do a practical application as just a change from all of the JavaFX theory that we've been covering. What I'm going to show you today is a one way of building an application from individual components. We're going to again look at the border pane layout in JavaFX and I'm going to put together a user interface consisting of a menu bar, a toolbar, a form that will be using grid pane as its layout manager, a table which will occupy the center or main portion of our border pane, and a status bar. So enough talk, let's get to the code. So here we have what should be familiar to you by now. We have our launcher class that uh, creates a new main view. And in main view, we're going to create the user interface for our application. So we've created a new border pane, which is going to be the root of our scene graph. I've already created several classes that we're going to use to populate our border pane. And they are a menu, a toolbar, a form, which is a grid pane. And you've seen that in a previous tutorial. We also have a table, which will occupy the center portion of our border pane. You've also seen that in a previous tutorial. And I've also created a status bar, which is basically a label. With those components already created, I'm now going to show you how to add those to our border pane. So first, let's go up and create some private instance variables. fx menu. We're going to also have an instance of our fx toolbar. spelling in that one. We have a form, which is our grid pane. We have a table. And we have the status bar. We'll go to our build UI method and instantiate objects from those classes. First, we'll start with the menu. We also have the toolbar. So since we can only have a single node occupy any of the given areas of the border pane, what I'm going to do is create a vertical box to wrap the menu and the toolbar, and then we'll add the vertical box to the top area of the border pane. And then we'll add that to the top. Let's run and see what that looks like. We have a menu bar with three menus, the file, the edit, and the help. And if we click on the file menu, I've included several menu items in the file menu. I haven't, however, put anything in the other two, the edit menu or the help menu. Next is our toolbar, and the toolbar contains three buttons, an open, a save, and an exit. So it's looking okay so far. So let's move on to the next class. The next class will be our form. So let's instantiate the FX form. And we'll add that to the left area of our border pane. run it again. And there we see our form, first name and last name, and a save button. 
Next, we'll add our table, which will hold a list of our person objects. And we'll add that to the center area of our border pane. Run again, because I like to run things to make sure that it's all working properly. And there we are. There's our table with the first name and last names. And the last thing that we want to add to our border pane is a status bar, which will occupy the bottom portion of the border pane. So we'll add that to the bottom area of the border pane. And we'll run that one more time and we should see the initial layout of our application. So we have the menu, the toolbar, a form with a save button, we have a table, which will contain all of our person objects. And we have a status bar, which will provide feedback to the user as things happen in our application. In later tutorials, I will be showing you how to actually make these individual components listen to and talk to one another so that we can actually make the application do something useful. Thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate you hanging out with me today. If you like the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future content when I release new videos. I hope to see you again next time. Until then, be safe and keep on coding.